everyone, this is Lisa here, and our devotional today is about fasting. So fasting brings focus. And point number one is, what is fasting? A, fasting is a designated or set-aside time that we choose to go without natural sustenance, with a specific reason of getting closer to God and to get instructions from Him for future plans. B, another definition is a time where you abstain or limit your food intake. Point number two, turn to God. Why do we need to go to the extreme of not eating? Does it really take all that? We naturally want to do our own will, our own thing. Isn't that true? We don't want to listen to somebody else telling us what to do, how to do it, when to do it, how high to jump, when, you know, we don't want to do that. Our natural response is not to do that. So check out this scripture in Romans 8 verse 7. It says, for the sinful nature is always, always hostile to God. It never did obey God's laws. And it never will. Romans 8, 7, that is God's word. And he says that we, our sinful nature, is always hostile toward God. It does not want to give in. It does not want to obey. Hostile means openly opposed or resistant. It's an enemy. It's just not in our nature to submit or to surrender to someone else's will or authority. So fasting is going to bring that focus. In Joel 2.12, it says, That is why the Lord says, Turn to me now. While there is time, give me your hearts. Come with fasting, weeping, and mourning. So this, yes, it does take all that. And this is God's idea. Fasting is God's idea. He's saying, this is how you come to me. Come closer Come with fasting. When we turn to God through a time of fasting and prayer, we give or surrender our mind and willingly hand over control of our will and our emotions to Him. He already has a plan for us. He knows what our life story looks like and how to get there. Sometimes we're too busy in our daily lives to focus. Too busy. So a time of fasting and prayer will quiet our spirit, shut down all the other voices and all the to-do lists so we can focus and hear what God's Spirit is saying. This is a time when we come to Him and give our hearts to Him where nothing else matters, nothing else is in competition. He then is able to fill us with these things. A, His Spirit. This empowers or enables us to have victory. How many of us do we want victory this year, this day, this month? We want victory in our lives, right? And so we have victory over the attacks of the enemy, and we can overcome temptations easier. We have the power to live out God's character, and He can produce the fruit of the Spirit in and through us. In Galatians 5, verse 22 and 23, it says, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, Patience, kindness, goodness, fruit, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. God's Spirit also provides, B, His wisdom. In James 1.5, the Word of God says, If you need wisdom, ask, and our generous God, He will give it to you, and He will not rebuke you for asking. We can know what is right and not only know what is right, but choose to do what's right. I have a 
bonus scripture, and it's a really good one, and I like the scripture. It says in James 4, 17, it says, remember, and this is the assumption that we could forget, right? God, he says, remember, it is sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. Wow. What did he say? Remember, it is sin to know what to do, what you ought to do, and then not do it. So we need God's wisdom to make right choices and not only make the right choice, but actually do. And see, God's will will give us his plans. If we seek after God, he will show us plans, strategies, and vision for our future for our future relationships, our businesses, new endeavors and ideas, or even circumstances. He can give us answers that we've been searching for. In Jeremiah 33, 3, this is a great scripture. <clears throat> and God says, ask me, seeking after him, focus, ask me, and I will tell you remarkable secrets you do not know about things to come. So God, he, he, if you search or if you seek after him, you'll find him. He's not hiding and he's waiting. He's waiting to meet up with you. So in this time of fasting, let's make sure that we pray, that we fast and we set aside that, that predetermined time so that we can come before God, seek after him, and he wants to give us his wisdom, his spirit, his guidance. He wants to give us everything that we need. And we can get closer and we can stay focused on him. So let's do this. Love you guys. God bless.